Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So the video of the 144,000 is coming up soon. I just have to recite this message to you about God wants you to know about spiritual rapists, right? That people who practice witchcraft, sorcery, and magic to do love spells, love curses, and who bewitch you to love them, use charms for you to love them, put hexes and jinxes and spells on you to love them, um, he, he considers them spiritual rapists because they, you end up getting into a relationship with them, but you're not in your right state of mind. If you were in your right state of mind, you wouldn't be with these people and you're sleeping with them. That's unconsensual sex. You understand me? It's rape. He even considers it worse than a physical rape because at least the person who raped you, you know you were raped by them. People who use love spells, charms, and hexes and you end up sleeping with them, it's called spiritual rape, according to God. You were, It's unconsensual. It's forced. Remember, even physical rape, that's force. It's unconsensual. So you being under a hypnotism, a, a witchcraft spell, whatever kind of love charm they put on you, that's unconsensual. That's like you sleeping with a mad person. That you wouldn't go do that, would you, right? So it's called it's it's spiritual rape. Any form of sex that's unconsensual is rape. So whether it be physical or whether it be spiritual. And God wants you to know that women are the number one criminals of committing spiritual rape against men and women. So they could sleep with them, so they can be in a relationship with them, so they can marry them. And he wants me to read Ecclesiastes 7 and 2 and then explain some more to you. But we're not, it's not a whole bunch of scriptures today. It's just, he wants, this is a message he wants me to get out about spiritual rapists. And that you're considered worse to him than a physical rapist because at least the person knows that they were raped and they can heal from it. People who are spiritually raped. They can go on years and years without being under a hypnotism, a bewitchment, a love curse and love spell, and they can die. You understand? And they won't get the healing. They can die in that, in that trap, in that curse. Now, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26, and I find more bitter than death, the woman whose heart is snares and nets. So these are this is wick he's talking about witchcraft women in this he's talking about these women who will do anything to keep a man sex magic love spells charms you name it and i find more better than death so these type of women are more bitter than your death than any death whose heart is snares and nets in her heart witchcraft sorcery and magic that's all she wants to do cast snares and nets and her hands as bands, using her hands to do evil. Who pleases God, if you please God, shall escape from her. Only if you please the Lord, you will escape these type of women. But the sinner shall be taken by her. Yep, this is what she does. Now, he wants me to tell you, like, in this time, he is going to, you know what, before I even go there, let me just finish what God wants me to say. There's a difference between natural love and artificial love. Witchcraft and love spell love is artificial love. It's nothing, it's not natural. That's why if you wouldn't be setting snares and traps for someone to love you, you, you know that they don't love you. You know that they don't want to be with you. You're forcing someone against their will to being in a relationship with you. A lot of men and women got their marriages like that. Use curses and spells and bewitchments and sorceries and magic to get someone to marry them, to get someone to be with them, to get someone to sleep with them. And it's rape. It's spiritual rape. So natural love over artificial love. Like, you know... You would rather brand name food over the 
over the no-name food because it's natural. Because you know that the the no-name food, the artificial brand is not good for you. It's not good for your health. Just like these artificial relationships, love-trapped and love-cursed relationships, it's not good for your health. Natural love will always triumph over unnatural love, people of God. What is natural is quality. You know, it's quality. It's true. You know, it's not forced. It's natural. Like you go for the name brand food over because it's good for your health. Just like you're going to choose it over the no name brand because it's artificial and you don't know what you know it's not good for you you know it's not good for your health and even in the ingredients you don't even know half of them what it is it's just like your relationship these artificial relationships and these no name no no name relationships it's bad for your health you don't even know the ingredients all the bad that it brings to you it's poisonous just like these no name artificial people who are who you're in a relationship with and they bewitched you they're bad for your health it's fake it's not real wouldn't you rather the real food in the grocery store over the fake food wouldn't you rather a real relationship over a fake relationship a fake one can cause your death You want quality over quantity. That's why even when you're in the grocery store, you rather the brand name, the natural brand, or the one that's more natural, organic, because it's quality over the artificial brand, the no name, which is quantity, just like these relationships. When you usually pick up the name brand, it's because, you, you know, when you pick up the no name brand, you know, the artificial one, it's because you're settling. You're, you're, you're being cheap with yourself, right? You're settling or you may be low on cash. So you're settling. It's just like being with people who bewitched you and charmed you up. You're settling. That is not what God gave and made for you. God is judging all these unnatural artificial relationships and marriages that he didn't put together. And he's destroying them. Because they're no good for you. Just like these no-name brand artificial foods are no good for you. Just like these people. And to these men and women who bewitched men and women to be with them, to love them, they don't even love them because they know they don't love them. Because if they did, love is natural. They wouldn't have to be bewitching them. They wouldn't be setting snares and traps for them, our nets for them, all right? So you, no sir, that woman who you got by witchcraft to marry you, she's not your wife. And you, what, you ma'am, that man that you got through witchcraft to marry you and be with you, he is not your man. So you have to know that and it, in God's word, it tells us about men stealers, all right? The Holy Scriptures tell us about men stealers. God is destroying every type of relationship that's men stealing, that's been gotten by witchcraft, sorcery, and magic, because that is when God puts two people together, they love each other naturally. They don't have to do any of those things. God says, suffer not a witch to live. So all these counterfeit, artificial, unnatural relationship, God is dis disgracing them, destroying them because they're dis they have been destroying his children. And these people are spiritually raping them. They're sleeping with them and they're not in their right state of mind because if they weren't under the witchcraft or the sorcery or magic, they wouldn't sleep with them. If they weren't under the witchcraft, sorcery or magic, they wouldn't even be with them. It's forced, it's control, it's bondage. They have his people in bondage. They're like a pharaoh in their life. Let my people go. So he's letting his people go. And he's restoring 
all the, the who he made to be together who God put together let no man put asunder it's all about the truth natural love and affection what's true and what's natural is and is not force when people are under enchantment it's force it's rape as i said they do sex magic to keep the person it's hypnotisms they do manipulations they they do spells they enchantments they do all things of evil for someone to be with them and sleep with them and god wants you to know that women are the number one criminals in this thing to get men to to to, to spiritually rape men and women because some women like both like women aren't like women and like men and to get them they do that men do it too but not as much as women that's why ecclesiastes tells us here in 726, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets because she doesn't want any type of thing called natural love. She's making people love her with witchcraft and sex magic and lust and makeup and all kinds of wicked things that are used to allure men. Hypnotisms, manipulations, flattery, you know, but doing the most... So even another thing, God wants you to know how these women manipulate men to be with them by buying them things and crying that they won't leave them and that they're faithful. When faithful is not enough, they're not really faithful because what are they doing to them spiritually? If this woman has no relationship with God, that is not the woman for you. And you'll know. God is all about truth. He's a God of truth and natural love and affection. These people, when they're under a bewitchment to be with someone, they're not in the right state of mind. They're being controlled and forced to be with somebody against their own free will. It's not according to their free will. Even God gives you your free will. All cre creation, man, woman, and child have free will. So who are who is these men and these women controlling people with witchcraft, sorcery, and love spells and enchantments and charms to be with them, to marry them, to have sex with them? Are you kidding me? That that is spiritual rape. These people are not in the right state of mind because if they were, they wouldn't be with them. And they know those people do not want them because if they did. They wouldn't have to do that. They would willingly say, yeah, I'll be with you. Yeah, I'll marry you. And a lot of women got the ring because of their witchcrafts. So God is destroying all those type of things. If he, who he never brought put together, he is cut in asunder. Who God put together, let no man put asunder. But who God didn't put together, and you're doing those things to his children, and you're keeping them in bondage, He's destroying you and he's destroying the wicked works. It's force. They know these people don't want them. That's bondage. God wants you to know it's called spiritual rape. And it's worse than physical rape because physical rape, you know what is happening to you. You know what happened to you and you can heal from it. You can pray from it. Pray again, pray about it, and God can heal you from it all. At least you know somebody's spirit, somebody raped you. Spiritual rape, you're being raped all the time. Sleeping with someone against your own free will and against your own right state of mind. In a delusion and illusion and in a hypnotism and on in a curse and in a spell. Being with someone for years, them destroying you with witchcraft. God does not want that having you in captivity and bondage. There's many type of captivity and bondage. That's one. And it's spiritual rape. They do it with charms, love spells, money, clothes, shoes, manipulation, flatteries. Women do it with a lot of flattery. Flattery of the mouth and crying crying to make people feel sorry for her when it's a part of their witchcraft too not all tears you should feel sorry for people of god some people cry to manipulate you and to make you feel bad and to project on you 
to make you feel guilty when they know that they're the ones doing evil. I hope you know that. Men, not all of these women, you should be taking their crying and, oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that to me. Uh Uh-uh. You better pray and fast to the Father because he's revealing these wicked women. You can heal from what you know. You can't heal from what you don't know. The greatest thing is to know. And you know that God said, suffer not a witch to live. They are killing you while you're alive and controlling your life and forcing you to be with them. Nothing about that is good. You need deliverance from such relationships and such people. And even so, God is destroying those things because he didn't ordain them. God is the only one who's supposed to control your life, not a man or a woman or not anyone you're sleeping with. God is supposed to be governing your life and your destiny and your fulfillment, not that man or woman that you're with. The person God made for you would never try to control you like that. They would love you freely. They wouldn't try to control your life. That person is controlling your life and your destiny because they're, you know, they're misleading you and redirecting you out of your destiny because you're not aligned or written up with your story from God to be with them. So what are they doing? They're slowing you down. They're stagnating you. They're blocking your progress. They're blocking your success. They're blocking your fulfillment to move forward. So I hope you understand that these people are detrimental for your growth and your prosperity and your success and your wealth and your opportunities because your opportunities don't come with them. Your glory and your favor doesn't come with them. Remember, a man gets his favor when he chooses a wife. The wife, when the wife God gave him, those blessings of favor on a man come for the wife God gave him. So you really have to pray and fast and, you know, stay away from fornication so you can get the answers from God and don't let these witches. And these wizards seduce you. And don't let lust have any control over you. Rebuke the spirit of lust, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, pride of life. That's what happened with King David when he was watching Bathsheba bathe, lust of the eyes. And then he what? Had lust of the flesh. And what did he do? He slept with her. And he sinned before God. You're supposed to learn from these stories that happen to the people in the scriptures. You're not supposed to be repeating them. You're supposed to be delivered from these things. Who What turned away King Solomon's heart? Him sleeping with strange women who served strange gods. Women who served other gods that weren't the most high God. And then he got wicked. Women turn away your heart. So can men. And especially if they do witchcraft, sorcery, and magic. What fellowship does light have with darkness? Please take this up, this message up, and I hope you learned from it. I hope you take it up with God because he wants you to know what spiritual rape is. And that spiritual rape is worse than physical rape because these people are raped for years and they don't know it and they're in bondage. And they're forced and they're manipulated and they're not in their right state of mind. Physical rape doesn't do that. You can heal from the things that happen to you. This, how some people die with this. Years and years and years under bewitchment, married to their, married to their captor and their rapist. And he wants you to know women who do this are so women are the number one criminals in this more they do it more than men so i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as band who so pleases god shall escape from her if you please god you'll escape from a woman like this but the sinner shall be taken by her if you're a sinner and you don't have a relationship with God and God is not controlling your life, then someone's controlling your life. Is not If God's not controlling your destiny, 
someone else is controlling your destiny. If God's not controlling your path and your direction, somebody else is. The only time you're in control of that is when you're with God. When you're aligned with God, you men. That is why you get caught up with these Jezebels and these Delilahs. What happened to Delilah? What happened to Samson with Delilah? He didn't listen to his parents. He listened to no one. He kept going to this woman until she cut off his hair and he died. She betrayed him. Do, do you understand me? Look at Jezebel, the paint face and the lust and all these things. These women's end is worse than bitter than wormwood. You men be careful of such women and you women be careful of such men. Stay blessed.